Hi, I'm Jerry Chandler with Nomadic Snowbird, and I wanted to share with you uh, my solar system I put in my uh, Class A here uh, about three years ago. So uh, I'm going to get right to it. Okay, let's get into this. First of all, I want to apologize for all the noise here. Uh, I've got a big air conditioner right down the way here, and I've got a, a real busy road right here right behind me. So I'm going to try to do this. Uh, what I have is four Battleborn batteries. You can see them back in there. They're all hooked in ser in, um, in parallel. And these batteries uh, are all like the best batteries you can get. They're very expensive. They're 27 pounds. They last for thousands and thousands of cycles. You can discharge them uh, all the way down to zero many, 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 many times. They should last at least 10 years. They have a 10-year warranty. You can mount them in any position. At any rate, what I have here, as you can see, coming in is I have three arrays. I have one, two, and I got three here. It's coming in, and it comes in, and it goes, and it feeds these charge controllers, the 60, the 40, and the 20. And that, of course, feeds the batteries, gets the batteries uh, charged up, and it does a wonderful job. These batteries charge so fast, it's unbelievable especially when I got 1740 watts on the roof, it charges them fast. In fact, I've got a little air conditioner running right now uh, on uh, right off this system and it's and you can see it's it's quite a quite a cloudy day, but it's over. Oh, look at the charge, 14.2, 14.1 here and that was 14.2. Anyway, so what I have here is I have this all of this is feeding this inverter it's a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter you get an inverter you you definitely want a pure sine wave anyway i plug this in right here i'm not using it for something else right now but i plug these two in here it goes this goes all the way under the rv you see it goes down under i got it kind of rednecky put in here it goes down under all the way to the uh service port when we hook up to uh, shore power i can i plug in right there and end up well, i got 25 amp service from this system right here and i can run everything but the uh, central air i can run anything in this rv except for the central air i can't do it all at the same time but i can run everything i heat my water i have a electric water heater i got rid of the uh anyway that's that Okay, you remember I told you earlier how the cable came under the RV and connected to the generator back here. Here it is right here. That goes under the RV. Here, this connects to that right there, this cable right here. These two connect, and I can charge my batteries, or I can run the RV off of it. Obviously, these gas cans would come out. Uh... But this is the system, and it works real well. I've got it vented. You see it comes out this way. And then I have a, a fan here, a 12-volt radiator fan, 10-inch fan, that actually feeds off of right here of the generator when it's running. So it's nice and safe. Got a 240-watt and I've got a little 30 watt over there, 1740, I think that comes out to be, or 1770, that is. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I did this. I mounted each one of these solar panels with Eternabond tape over the screws that screw into the uh, fiberglass body. And it holds real well. I mean, it really holds. You can't even pull it off there. And I took, I went to Lowe's and I got some of this, some kind of a molding material for your construction workers when they're doing drywall. And I put that on the front with the hole so they can get some ventilation. And uh, this will keep it from, help it from blowing off. I, I've done that to all of them. You can see right over there too. Same thing. Okay. Well, that's the system up on top. I'm not a professional, so I did not do my wiring professionally. I did all this myself. It took me a year to do it. So, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, what will this system run? Let's take a look.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I want to keep in, keep in mind that I'm not a professional electrician. I think you can see that. That's very easy to see. Uh, my wiring, I do want to get some combiner boxes and do my wiring a little more professional, which I will. Uh, I'm just getting old. Can't climb up there too many more times. But I thank you. Uh, I hope you subscribe. I, I, I'm new at this and I'm trying to learn and trying to get into it and try to share everything I can to help the RV community. Uh, mm -hmm. I've learned a lot from YouTube, so I thought I would give my part back. I'm not trying to be some big famous guy or something. I'm just simply doing some filming to try to help my fellow RVers, like I said. Uh, you know, I do subscribe and, and try to help as many as people as you can in this, in this kind of life, our life. Bye.